Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number eight in the CKS uh, killer shell exam simulation. So question number eight, task rate three percentage. The Kubernetes dash dashboard is installed in the namespace Kubernetes dash dashboard and is configured to allow users to skip login, allow insecure access, HTTP without authentication, allow basic authentication, allow access from outside the cluster. You are asked to make it more secure by deny users to skip login, deny insecure access, or enforce HTTPS self-signed certificates are okay for now. Add the auto-generate certificates argument and enforce authentication using a token with possibly uh, to use RBAC and allow only uh, cluster internal access. Good. So uh, first, let's switch to the given context. And then let us take a look at the existing um, pods and services um, in the Kubernetes dashboard. Uh, namespace. And if possible, deployments as well. So we see the pods are there, Kubernetes dashboard services there, the deployment is there. Let's take a look at the service for now, because that is what uh, we believe is expo will be accessed. And uh, we clearly see it is of type node port. And we see HTTPS port is also there. And probably this is the HTTP port, I suppose. So let's connect to this uh, service using the HTTP protocol uh, to this port. So now that we know the node port, uh, let's grab the IP address of any of the nodes by issuing the kubectl get nodes with o wide parameter will give us the IP address of any of these clusters. So let's grab any one of this IP, doesn't matter. And we're going to use the curl command to connect uh, to the HTTP port of any of these node IP. And we know it is exposed to this port 13973. So it is now greeting us with this message. So, which means we could see that the dashboard service allows insecure HTTP access. And we noticed that it didn't even prompt us to authenticate. We didn't supply any credentials to access uh, this. So, which is insecure. Um, so that is what they have given here as well. So HTTP without authentication, skip login. So it's it's not secure at the moment. And we, we have to make it secure. So how to do that? So first let's uh, take a look at the Kubernetes dashboard deployment and then we'll fix it. So kubectl uh, in the Kubernetes dashboard namespace. Let's edit uh, the deployment. The deployment name is Kubernetes dashboard. Let's go to the section which accepts the arguments. So we clearly see the enable skip login in this line is set to two. We don't need this. We have to disable that. So we can either delete it or set it to false. So for now, let, let us delete it to keep it simple and enable insecure login. So we don't need this as well. We can delete this attribute or argument. So this should prevent us from skipping the login or accessing uh, the, the service uh, with 
then secure access. Okay, so this is done. Uh, this is sort of partly done, denying secure access, but enforce HTTPS uh, using self-signed certificate and they have given us uh, this auto generate certificates argument um, in the question itself. Let us add that. So this is basically used to generate the self-signed certificate. And that should be it. Let's inspect. Let's inspect the authentication. If there are any authentication mode. So the authentication mode is set to um, basic. Enforce authentication using token possibly to use RBAC. So it is set to token. So um, we can even delete it because um, the basic authentication mode is token. So it's as it's you know, either you can specify token because it's already default or you can Update it. So for now, I'll to keep this configuration simple. I'll, I'll, I'll delete this and let us save this. Uh, so just an just a heads up. So before changing any of this, it's recommended uh, to take a backup of these files before modifying. If we mess up something, it's a bit. Uh, I mean, especially during the exam, it would consume more time and add stress uh, because the clock is ticking. So let's now get the service in deployment. The deployment. Oh, one thing that we, yeah, the deployment is running, you see it's newly created 31 seconds ago. Uh, so we have made changes to the deployment, but if, if you take a look at the service, it's still having a node port. It's of node port type. So we still have to do some more or uh, fix to fully complete this question. <clears throat> So let's uh, fix this at the service level as well. So kubectl edit, so kubectl in the namespace, Kubernetes dashboard, edit the deployment, sorry, not the deployment, this time it's going to be service. And it's Kubernetes dashboard service. So it says allow only cluster internal access. So external traffic policy will simply either comment or delete. We'll comment it for now. Um, and then we don't want it to be a node port. So you can delete or comment on just um, since I didn't take a backup of it, I'm just commenting it out. HTTP and HTTPS. That's that is fine. Uh, so the type is node port. We want to uh, make it as the cluster IP. So cluster IP. And then we'll save this changes. Now let's uh, check uh, the service in this namespace. At least it should reflect the cluster IP rather than node port, which looks good at the moment. All right, so we believe it is already, uh, all of them are taken care. Let's now try and connect to
Okay, we can't connect now, but uh, we can connect to it using the service name. Service name in our case is Kubernetes dashboard. And it should be in the namespace as well, Kubernetes dash dashboard oh we could uh, we should not be able to do that it says so let us try with https with the dash k so the dns is not properly set up Although we can we can do one thing we can create a new pod and we'll use nginx image and then the remote one's done we want to connect to the bash I think we're connected to the bash. Now let's uh, try and connect to this one internally. It should be able to, it, it does have an internal DNS. Should be able to. All right, it is able to connect to the HTTPS service. Let's check the HTTP service. HTTPD, HTTP doesn't do anything. So we shouldn't be able to connect to the HTTPS service as well. So something is wrong here. I'll exit out of that. even though it says cluster IP. Let's edit the service once again and uh, check it, check once again. kubectl uh, in the namespace Kubernetes dashboard, edit service Kubernetes dashboard. This is the cluster IP internal policies or external we have removed uh, so we have commented the node port which is which is now not there cluster ip node balancer all looks good from a service perspective So if I do the curl HTTP slash Kubernetes dashboard namespace, and this is the service, and I'll supply HTTP, it's taking time. Oh, 
all right i think it it looks good so https is good so i think previously i have supplied the hyphen k um, attribute which means ignore the self-signed certificate so i think we're good so self-signed certificates are okay for now which which is good so that's that's what we have done uh, in the in the step number three here so that looks correct as per the as per the question what they were asked us to do so that's it for this question. Thanks uh, for your time.